Are you having trouble holding consistent liquid level in your separator? In this video, I'm going to walk you through seven things to check to make sure your liquid level controller is functioning properly. Hi, I'm Will with Kimray, where we help energy producers solve their biggest control challenges. A Gen 2 liquid level controller uses a displacer to sense the liquid level change inside a production vessel. It then actuates a dump valve to maintain a liquid level inside. These seven troubleshooting principles are the same for the back mount, side mount, or electric configurations. If you're experiencing issues with your level controller, the first thing to check is your supply gas. You want to make sure you have adequate pressure, which is 30 psi. Too much pressure can damage the pilot. If you don't have enough pressure, it won't be able to actuate the dump valve. Supply gas also needs to be flowing from a high and dry place, so you aren't getting wet gas to the Gen 2 pilot. Cleaning or replacing the pilot can fix this, though you may need to improve your supply gas conditions for a long-term solution. The second thing to check is if the arm is stuck. Open the case and see if you can manually raise and lower the float by pulling on the extension housing. If it's stuck, you'll need to remove the controller. Often the cause for this is sand buildup in the vessel and the displacer is sitting on top of sand. If this is the case, you might need to blow down the vessel and clean out the sand. If the weld neck on your vessel sticks out from the sidewall, the displacer may be hitting the wall as it lowers, preventing it from sitting down in the fluid properly. In this case, you need to use an extension to get farther into the vessel and avoid the weld neck. 6, 12, and 18 inch extensions are available. Our standard PVC displacer has a max working temperature of 175 degrees. If your fluid temperatures are higher than that, the displacer will deteriorate, so we recommend using the stainless steel displacer. If you're having trouble controlling interface level, using a displacer in a vertical orientation works better because you get more of the displacer in the fluids. Horizontal orientation has less surface area on the displacer to sense the water level. If you decide to convert from horizontal to vertical, contact your Kimray representative to get the correct parts for this conversion. In the rare occasion that your liquid level is lower than where the level controller is mounted, you can add a cable to the vertical displacer. Finally, one of the most common issues in liquid level control is fluctuating specific gravities. The standard displacer can sense interface if the specific gravity differential is larger than 0.2. If that differential is less than 0.2, you will need to change your displacer out for a larger one. To learn more about this, see our video on selecting the correct displacer. For more on this topic, watch our video guide to float operated liquid level controllers and level switches.